We watch the world in high definition, staring through screens like virtual windows to electronic space. Immersed in our technologies, we journey through the sensations of a digital age. I really believe that people have lost their sense, their senses. It's like we've created this moat of popular culture around us through images and sound that um, is almost indefensible now. To, to a great degree, we're inside this electronic whirlwind in which it's necessary for each of us to be able to develop a consciousness of the quest. The new nature hasn't quite settled into us and the old nature seems to be disappearing. The crucial question for any culture is how does it teach its mythology, its stories, to the next generation? Children in the Amazon rainforest, by the time they're five years old, will know the names of 200, 250 species of plants and animals around them. In North America, by the time they're eight, nine years old, what they can identify is something like 150 to 200 corporate logos. Moving rapidly forward with the speed of our mobile technologies, are we failing to connect with the natural world around us? Follow the stories of everyday people who reveal the questions of a civilization lost in the vivid spaces of the digital culture. They're taking the classical archetypes of the journey, the voyage, the voyage of discovery, and putting them into this particular set of technological fantasies. You couldn't play on the screen. You couldn't, like, do anything active on the screen. You couldn't go somewhere on the screen. You just sit there and talk. Where did we get fragmented from the world, or our world, or our family, or, or we all got computers, and we've all got TVs, and we've all got this monitor stuff, and we're doing our own thing, but don't lose contact with all that richness. One doesn't have to be negated for the other. Embark on a voyage of our environments in the shadows of technology as the modern world travels towards a virtual horizon.